let's look at this set a certain number of men and women work in a factory which was open on all days of a particular year during the month of april which began on a friday a few workers did not come to work on certain days it is known that between every two consecutive mondays of april the number of men that came to work reduced by one third and the number of women increased by 50% so it reduced by one third and it increased by 50% on the face of it, it looks like different numbers. But here, reduction by one-third means multiplication by 2 by 3. And an increase of 50% means multiplication by 3 by 2. Okay. Further, between any two consecutive days, the number of men that came to work did not change by more than 10%. And the number of women that came to work did not change by more than 10%. We have this information away. Okay. Now, do you, Remember, the instruction given to us is only during the month of April. It is only during the month of April. So, for the month of April, we have April 1 as Monday. Sorry, not Monday, Friday. As Friday. And then we have April 4 as Monday. Then we have April... 11 as Monday, then we have April 18 as Monday, and then we have April 25 as Monday. So for these days, the count of men, if you are looking at, we would have X, let's say if there were X men working here, here I would have 2 by 3 X, here I would have number of men working as 4 by 9 X, and here I would have 8 by 27x. On the other hand, if we were counting it for women, if we were counting it for women, the number of, uh, well, let's say, if the number of women working on April 25th were Y, on here, here you would have it off. You would have it on how much? Mm, let's say 2 by 3. 3y, because this multiplied by 3 by 2 will lead me to 1. Working our way backwards, this would be 4 by 9y. And working our way backwards, this would be 8 by 27y. Okay. So this is known to us. This is known to us. Let us uh, do our further working. What is the maximum number of consecutive days during the month that the number of men that came to work remained the same? Okay. Now see... <coughs> So I'm seeing it is here I have X. So I'm working out how many days 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. On 5th, I can reduce it by 10%. So 0 0.9X. On 6th, it can be 0.81X. On 7th, it can be 0.729X. Basically, power cycle of 9 I'm doing and therefore I'm managing this. The next, next day, I can bring it to 0.667x, which is equivalent to this amount. I can bring it down to this amount. So, from Monday, I need Monday, I need Tuesday, I need Wednesday, I need Thursday. I need these many days in order to bring it down to the level for the next week, next, next Monday's number. So I can keep it here, 0.667x and 0.667x. Or it takes 1, 2, 3, 4 conversions. It takes 4 conversions to maintain the same day. Now with that knowledge in mind, look at this. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. I know it takes 4 conversions. So... One conversion here, second conversion here, third conversion here, and fourth conversion here. Can I see that on 11th, I have 0.667x. On 12th, also, I can maintain 0.667x. And on 13th, also, I can maintain 0.667x. And on 14th, also, I can maintain 0.667x. But after this, I would need to engage in 1, 2, 3, 4 conversions in order to arrive at 4 by 9x on 18th April. Which means from 8 to 14th. 
from 8th April to 14th April, I can maintain the same number of men coming to office without violating any condition. And this, the same working, why I'm not concerned about what the numbers here would be. I know four changes are needed in order to arrive at the next number. So four changes would be needed to arrive at the next two third number as well. But the advantage here, the advantage or the wonderful here thing that you can potentially see here is, remember the constraint was only related to the month of April and after 25th, after 25th, you don't need to change anything. After 25th, you don't need to change anything because there is no next Monday coming in. So, I'm going ahead and approaching this in a different way. While we have our working year, if it was between any two Mondays in April, our work would be different. But let's say if we had Z workers on Monday, Z workers, not 4 by 9x, Z workers on 18th, on 19th, you would have 0 0.9z. On 20th, you would have 0.81z. On 21st, we would have 0.729z. And on 22nd, we would have 0.667z. If z is 4 by 9, 0 0.667 or 2 thirds would be 8 by 27. Can you see from 22nd to 30th? I don't need to reduce any further no? after 25th because there is no more Monday coming. I don't need to reduce it any further from 22nd to 30th. I can have the same number of workers working, which is 8 by 27x, which is 8 by 27x. And therefore, the answer to this question will be 9 days. 22 to 30 is 9 days. Answer to the first question is this. This is about number manipulation and looking where the perfect slot for fitting would be. Okay, next, the number of men that came into factory on April 12th was 49. If it is known that at least one, at least on one day of the month, all the, all the men working in the factory came to the factory, what is the maximum possible number of men working in the factory? Okay, <clears throat> now see, based on this representation, based on this representation, can we say, because on every day, on every day, we are supposed to have, on every day, we are supposed to have uh, integral number of people coming in. Can I say X and Y both have to be multiples of 27? X and Y both have to be multiples of 27. So, if on April 12th, I had 49. On 12th, I had 49 people working. This is... And X is supposed to be a multiple of uh, 27. The multiple of 27 greater than 49 is 54. But if I had taken X as 54, if I had taken X as 54, here I would have 36 people. And on the next day, you cannot have 49 people then. So 54 as number of people working on Monday wouldn't work. Or the first Monday of the month wouldn't work. This is not an acceptable case. How about the next multiple of 27? If I take this as 81, two third of X would be 54 and then five people reducing to bringing it to 49, less than 10% change. Yes, this is perfectly all right. How about the next multiple? Let's see. For 108, for 108, two third of that would be 72 and from 72 to 49, the journey can't be made because the percentage change is more than 10%, which means the number of men the number of men working on April 4th, the number of men working on April 4th has to be 81. This is told to us by telling us that the number of men coming to factory on April 12th was 49. We have also been told number of men coming on April 4 here are 81. Okay. Now, if it is 81, remember maximum possible number of men working in the factory. On 4th, you have 81. So on third, you can have a maximum of 90 people because 10% reduction is allowed. On second, you can have a maximum of 100 people working. And on first, you can have a maximum of 111 people working. Basically, all you have to do is whatever number you're getting, 81 into 10 by 9. Because let's say if there were X, uh, A people here, on the next day, you can have 
a into 9 by 10, then a into uh, 81 by 100, and finally, a into 729 by 1000. And this has to be greater than equal to, no, not greater than equal to, one minute, A into 729 by 1000 has to be very close to 81. Or this is far too much working. Just see, from here to here, if you are multiplying by 9 by 10, here to here you will arrive at by multiplying 10 by 9. Similarly, here to here you will arrive by multiplying 10 by 9. And here to here you will arrive at multiplying 10 by 9. You will get 111.11, but because the total number of people has to be an integral, the answer is one on one, which is option B. Okay. Let us get rid of all these non specific things. Next, the number of women that came to factory on April 7th was 19. April 7th. So I have four, five, six, seven as 19. Okay. Now, can I have 27 here? Can I have 27 here? This will make it. Uh, if I have 27 here, this will make this uh, 18. And 18 people, 19 people. 18, then 4 by 9 of that is 8. 8 to 19 change, not possible. So 27 can't be Y. 27 can't be Y. How about Y being 54? 54, 36, 24. 24 to 19, yes, this movement is possible. 24 to 19 movement is possible. How about this being 81? 81, 54, then 4 by 9 of 81 is 36, 36 to 19. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here if I have 36, and I know every day it increases by a maximum of 10%. So here it has to be 33. Then here it has to be 30. Then here it has to be 28. Then here it has to be 26. Then here it has to be 24. These, if for me to get 36 people, for me to get 36 people on 11th, I would need 24 people on 6th, which is not happening. So y being equal to 81. This case of y being equal to 81 is also not possible. The only acceptable case is when y is 54. So I have 36 here. I have 24 here. Okay. Now they're asking what is the maximum possible number of women working in the factory? If I want to increase the number of women, last time I was going backwards from April 4 to 1 because men were reducing and women were increasing. So I'll have to go 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. On 25, I have 54. So on 26, 10% more, I can have 59 people. Next day, I can have 5.9 more or 64 more. Now I can have 6 more, so 70. Now I can have 7 more, so 77. Now I can have 7 more, so 84. The maximum number of women working in the factory will be 84. Or option A is the right answer. Now, again, we have to get rid of all these numbers. Last question. An equal number of men and women came to work on April 11th. So, 2 by 3x is equal to 4 by 9y. Or, cancel, cancel. 2 and 3. x by y is 2 by 3. Okay. If on at least one day, all men came to work, and on at least one day, all women came to work, the number of men as a percentage of women in the factory can be approximately at most. Okay. Now, if I want number of men as a percentage of number of women in the factory uh, to be maximum, I would want men to be as high as possible and women to be as low as possible. I know there have to be Y women. There have to be Y women. 
and after this after april 25 i will keep y women only i will not increase the number from april 4 to april 11 to april 18 to april 25 the increase in is inevitable you have to do it because that is what the question tells us but after april 25 the increase can be stopped now that i have this ratio let this be 3 and let this be 2 of course, these are not precise numbers. They're just ratio numbers. Let this be two. But now, from two, if I'm the maximum number of women working can be capped off at three. I, I will not increase the number. But when I want to increase, so if I go further back, two into 10 by nine, because on third, I would want 20 by 9, then 200 by 81, and then finally 2000 by 729. The maximum will, men will be these many. The maximum men will be these many. Remember, this is not a precise number. This is not the precise count of people. If I go ahead, all all that the question tells me is x by y is of the ratio 2 by 3 is of the ratio 2 by 3. So if I take uh, this as 2, I can go back, go back. So let's say I took the first uh, number as 729 into 2000. So 2000 or how do I replace it? Or Oh, I can do it very easily. Let's say this is 2a and this is 3a. So if this is 2a, I can have this as 20 by 9a. This is 200 by 81a and this is 2000 by 79a. 2000 by 79a. So maximum number of men is 2000 by 729a. And minimum number of women is 3a. And this is the percentage that we are seeking. This into 100 is what we are seeking. So A and A gone. We finally have 2 followed by 5 zeros divided by 2187. 2187. So first thing I get is 9. 9 into 2187. 2000. Sorry. Two thousand में नहीं जा रहा यहाँ पे जा रहा तो यहाँ पे nine nine into seven is three six carried over is eight seven carried over is six one carried over is nineteen now ten minus this is seven then here how much will I get uh, one then three then that is it. 3170. Now 3170 will be 91 point something. My answer is going to be 91 point something among the available options. The best option to mark is option C. And that is the entirety of this set. This is very similar to CAT sets that were present in this year's CAT or in CAT 2023 paper wherein number manipulation and then looking at extreme cases and everything was the manner in which you had to solve. That will be all for this side.